Mr. Floron Galon is an amazing front-end developer. While going through his portfolio, I found this stunning effect. This is fire that is generated from text, which we can try to recreate. First, let us make it simple and analyze one single frame of this effect. We can see that this is all text, where characters are being constantly changed to create the visual effect. So we can consider all the empty places as space characters. Now to have proper formatting, we can use the preformatted text element as the container. If we apply a grid on this, we can see that each cell can contain either a space or a text character. And for those characters, initialize a string called fire cares as shown. And make sure to mention the first character as space. Now coming to the grid, width is the number of horizontal cells and height is the number of vertical cells, which we will initialize at the start. As the entire fire is just a string, instead of a 2D grid, we can consider it as a one-dimension array which we can call as fire pixels array. By combining the values of this fire pixels array and adding a new line character after every row width, we can get the final fire string. So the size of the fire pixels array will be the product of the width and height of the grid. We will be storing the index of the fire cares instead of the character itself. And by default, we will mention the space character, which is the first one in the fire cares. Next, we will generate the fire. For that, start by initializing an empty fire string. Now the primary logic is to update the fire string with the values of the fire pixels array. So initialize a for loop to iterate over the fire pixels array and assign the character from the fire cares based the array value. And as mentioned previously, add a new line character when the array reaches the end of the row. Then assign the final fire string to the fire container and finally add a set timeout function so that the fire keeps on changing. But we cannot see any output here, as we are just setting the fire string with default fire pixels array. The container is filled with spaces. If you initially set the fire pixels array values to the second index of the fire cares, then the container is filled with commas. So to make this appear as the fire, we will make some changes. As the fire starts from the bottom, we will first try to fill the last row. To make it simple, I am reducing the size of this grid. We need to fill the last row, but that is in a one-dimensional array. Now we will select a random cell between 0th cell and the cell at width minus 1 value index and assign it to a variable called random call. Let's assume we have selected the third cell. Now we will add the product of width and height to the random call value to calculate an index within the last row. Finally assign a random character from the fire cares to this cell. This process is done for one single cell only, but it has to be repeated for the entire last row. For that initialize for loop starting from zero to width of the row and repeat this logic which will randomly populate the last row. We can see the last row is being generated and constantly changed. Now that we have filled the last row, the fire has to grow upwards. So we need to fill row by row. For filling the cells in the above rows, we can take the average of these four cells and use that value. But in a one-dimensional array, this average can be calculated by considering the ith element, i plus want element, i plus width element, and i plus width plus want element. Inside the main for loop, calculate this average value and assign it to the fire pixels array. As we need to iterate till the last second row only, change height to height minus 1 as shown. We can see the characters being filled from the bottom, and they being left like that we need to add some gaps to make it look like fire. For that, we will add the space character randomly in the last row, which in turn creates gaps in the upper rows. We need to do that in the one-dimensional array by selecting a random cell between 0 to width minus 1 index and using that value find out the index in the last row. Then set the cell value to 0 which is a space character in the fire cares. Repeat this process for the entire row. For that, start for loop from 0 to width of the row and repeat the logic. With that, you will have your fire effect ready. If you find this tutorial valuable, then subscribe to the channel.